already using it, you can use it all After many years of training, it's yard. almost time for Andreas Morgensen to make his first flight into orbit. He'll be the fourth of ESA's class of 2009 astronauts to visit the International Space Station and has a busy time ahead of him. There's a whole host of tests and demonstrations to carry out during a mission that will last just 10 days. I have a, a very packed schedule of European science and technology uh, experiments that I'm going to be doing during my mission. Uh, so this, this mission is, is rather unique in that I can focus exclusively on European science. So from ESA's perspective, uh, we'll get a lot of value out of this mission, even though it's only a, a short 10-day mission. The mission has been named IRIS, after the Greek messenger of the gods, and will be controlled from the Columbus Control Center in Oberpfaffenhofen in Germany. Mogensen will travel to the station in a Russian Soyuz spacecraft. Launched from Baikonur in Kazakhstan, he'll be second in command for the duration of the flight. Once on board, he'll get to work inside ESA's Columbus laboratory, carrying out a series of European studies which include research into telerobotics and space-to-ground communication systems. These have major implications for future space missions. Another important area of research is biomedical science. Even short stays in space cause muscle atrophy and changes in bone density. The IRIS mission will provide ESA with an opportunity to monitor this. One of the main areas of interest that we have is understanding how do our bodies uh, react to, to being in weightlessness. And even though I'm only going to be there for 10 days, it's still valuable to, to study my body to see how quickly some of these negative effects start. And then hopefully we can use that and compare with some of the astronauts who are up there for six months and even a year and better get an understanding of the dynamics of some of these health-related issues that we experience. A long and comprehensive training program has ensured that Mogensen is more than ready to handle this and future missions. But as an astronaut, nothing can compare to your first journey into space. I think there's always something special with the first experience of anything. So certainly my first space flight is going to be something very, very unique, very special. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. With Samantha Cristoforetti recently back on Earth, and Tim Peake scheduled to fly in December of this year, it's an intense time of European activity on board the ISS. Coming between two long-duration missions, IRIS will be a unique opportunity for ESA to maximize its use of the station, advancing technologies that will be used well into the future.